Today, we're excited to announce Easy for Everyone A-B Testing, built by Wheelhouse. As you know, A-B tests help measure different scenarios, aka settle debates. And historically, these have been the realm of data scientists. But also, we suggest that A-B tests are an essential part of every revenue manager's toolset. Or rather, A-B tests should be an essential part of your revenue manager or your team's tool set. Why? Well, for one, good A-B tests can help you earn more revenue. Also, they can help you rest more easily by resolving uncertainty around the right scenario to, for your business to run. And they can help you retain and attract owners. Let's see how. Let's take this question as an example. What's a better strategy for your properties? Should you discount rates as Stadays approach or should you hold rates the same? What about this one? Should you have a kitchen as the first photo or a bedroom as the first photo? Turns out listing design is super important. Maybe you also want to have a porch, pool, patio, or barbecue photo as well. What about your min stay policy? If you're in a vacation market, should you keep that seven day minimum stay policy or should you shrink it to five days at certain times of the year or all year? Well, it depends. What about your cancellation policy? Should you have a flexible cancellation policy or a strict cancellation policy? It turns out you should have different cancellation policies based on the channel. How do we know? We've A-B tested it for years. So imagine this. What if you could say to owners in this market, a five day minimum stay will help you earn 17% more revenue. This could be you soon with Wheelhouse. Our goal is to make running an A-B test easier than changing a light bulb. But we work in the property management space, so we want to make it way easier than changing a light bulb. Ready to set up your first A-B test? Let's go see how easy this can be. I'm now on Wheelhouse's bookings tab. I actually have an A-B test already set up. We're going to build another one in just a second. But here you can see I've selected a tag of last minute aggressive and a separate second tag of last minute conservative. What I can see down below are the revenue, the total revenue over the coming year, as well as the last 14 days, how many bookings have occurred, the last seven days, how many bookings have occurred, even the last three days as well. And I can see the percentage change. This chart shows me the performance as well. And I can even go in and explore in a table view to see the data for myself. All this data is exportable. Therefore, if I wanted to send an owner a message detailing how our last minute aggressive versus last minute conservative listings performed, it'd be easy to do so. I can send an image or I can send the data. Now, let's see how we can set up infinite of these. Let's go quickly. build an A-B test, leveraging our portfolio settings page. Here, we're gonna be able to leverage tags as well as the ability to bulk update settings to quickly create an A-B test. To do so, I'm gonna grab the first eight listings here. I'm going to edit this group and I'm going to add a tag that says min stay five nights. So we're doing this live. I'm going to create this new tag. Great. And then I'm going to grab the next eight properties. So I can unselect these. Just clear sections. Then I'm going to grab the next eight properties here. And I'm going to tag these slightly differently. I'm going to tag min stay seven night. And you can probably see where we're going with this. Now I'm going to filter this page. First, I'm going to filter by the tag min stay five nights. I'm going to select all and I'm going to go adjust the minimum stay policy. So it's right here. It gives me the ability to update all at the same time. And all I'm going to do here is I'm going to set a global min of five and I'm going to replace all prior minimum stay settings, right? I'm going to save and configure. And then I'm going to have, there's kind of a quick select here. So I'm going to unselect the five nights. I'm going to toggle over to the seven night stays. I'm going to select all. And again, I'm going to edit the min stay. I'm going to set a global min of seven nights. Let me move my face again so you can see it. So global min of seven. Of course, I could do more complicated rules. I could do time-based rules and set A-B tests around that. And I'm going to, again, replace all. Great. So now our portfolio is set up for 
easy review of our A-B test. We're going to click into our bookings tab and here you can already see that we have a comparison set up. So now we're looking at five night minimum stays, which came from our tags and seven night minimum stays. And we can zoom in on weekly, monthly, or even daily performance. Now, after a week, what you might want to do is just come look at this tab and isolate what's booked in the last seven nights. In this case, should we have started this test a week ago, you would have seen which bookings had come in as a result of your new updates. You can also see those performance numbers tracked here, seven days, three days, et cetera. So you actually have the infrastructure in place to run lots of A-B tests. Now we did a simple one, right? We're doing five night minimum stay versus seven night minimum stays. You could also set up advanced minimum stays and run A-B tests against that. In fact, you kind of have an unlimited bandwidth to now set up tests however you please, whether it's around min pricing, min stays, for our future pricing, last minute discounting, the setup for how your listings look. Uh, whatever strategy you can think of, you can test. And we hope you use this interface to help drive better performance from your portfolio. So that's that. Um, we'll let you all explore it from here. If you have any questions, please reach out, out to us at hello at usewheelhouse.com. Happy to help you set up your first A-B test anytime. Cheers.